Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Okay, so the question that everybody's asking, will Joe Biden stay or will Joe Biden go? Or I guess the better question is, since we've already established that it doesn't seem like Joe Biden really wants to go anywhere, will they be able to force him to go? That right there, I think, is the most important question. Joe Biden was right, it does seem as though the elites of his party, well, they're conspiring behind the scenes to get Joe Biden to step down. Let's have a conversation about what that means, we got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. Alright folks, so we got some really big news today. In fact, today's news might be the first little bit of evidence to actually back up this claim that there's an internal Democrat coup currently happening. I wake up this morning and this is the report that everyone's talking about. Breaking this hour, New York Times reporting donors have told the largest pro-Biden super PAC that roughly $90 million in pledges are now frozen if Biden remains at the top of the ticket. But this may only be the beginning. Reports claim a coordinated Democratic rebellion is set to unfold during a brutal 48-hour stretch for Biden. An 18th Democrat lawmaker just called for Biden's exit 90 minutes ago. And now we're learning that President Biden privately met with White House Minority Leader Jeffries after his solo press conference last night where he made several embarrassing mistakes on the world stage. Out of nowhere, we get the news that Biden's donors are freezing $90 million in pledges to his campaign. Obviously, we know exactly what's happening. It's gone from, Joe, can you please step down, to, Joe, if you don't step down, there will be consequences. And it's really no mystery who's behind it all. Like I said, Joe Biden was talking about the elites of his party when he said this. Come with me, watch, watch. I'm getting so frustrated by, by the elites. Now, I'm not talking about you guys, but about the elites in the party who they know so much more. But any of these guys yeah. don't think I should let them run against me. Go ahead, announce the announce president. Challenge me at the convention. And remember, we were covering how Nancy Pelosi, right after, all of a sudden turns on Joe after being his biggest advocate over the last four years. After singing Joe Biden's praise like no one else, all of a sudden, Nancy Pelosi is unwilling to go on the record supporting whether Joe should stay in the race. She said, quote, it's up to him. Does he have your support to be the head of the Democratic ticket? As long as the president has, the pres it's up to the president to decide if he is going to run. Operation Dementia Joe has begun. Gun. And call me crazy, but Barack and other elite Democrats are the ones behind it. We've seen all the reportings that Barack Obama is frustrated with Joe, his associates are meeting with Joe Biden trying to get him to drop out of the race, and one of Barack Obama's closest allies, one of his surrogates in the media, David Axelrod, it seems he's doing the dirty work for the Obamas, trashing Joe publicly during his public appearances. This is a tied race and he's right in the hunt right now. He was 10 points ahead four years ago, he's six points behind now worsens in most of the battleground states and now uh, in danger of losing states that weren't thought to be in contention. So what you see, Jim, you saw it in Wisconsin today. Tammy Baldwin, the senator from Wisconsin, wasn't at this event. Mm -hmm. Why? Because she's up for re-election and it's not helpful to, helpful to her to be seen with the president. This is what's going to happen. And some somebody really needs to be honest with him about it. It's not, it, it can't be the good Lord, but it should be the people who love and care for him and his it, closest advisors. His portrait of where he is in this race doesn't comport with reality. And then, of course, we've got the whole George Clooney thing. Barack Obama and George Clooney grouped together to throw this big Hollywood fundraiser. George Clooney is 100% in behind sleepy, creepy, piss pants Joe. He's the greatest guy for the job. And then a couple weeks after the debate, after it was reported that George Clooney met with Barack Obama, all of a sudden, George Clooney pulls his support from the current Vegetable in Chief's campaign. Well, top Democrat lawmakers, allies... And now even George Clooney, a big fundraiser for President Biden, are pressuring Biden to get out of the race. Clooney just out with this bombshell guest essay in The New York Times. He writes, quote, it's devastating to say it, but the Joe Biden I was with three weeks ago <laughs> at the fundraiser was not the Joe big effing deal Biden of 2010. He wasn't even the Joe Biden of 2020. He was the same man we all witnessed at the debate. We are not going to win in November with this president. On top of that, we won't win the House and we're going to lose the Senate. This is George Clooney. He was at a fundraiser hosting it with Biden 
just three weeks ago. And top Democrats go even further, warning that Biden will lose in a landslide. George Clooney now says that the man you saw during the debate was the same man that they saw during their fundraiser. An interesting shift in tone right after having met with Barack Obama after the disastrous debate and right as $90 million is frozen on its way to the Biden campaign's bank account. Oh, and also I might as well add this, a pretty interesting admission. George Clooney, I guess, now admits that Joe Biden wasn't okay during that event. And I guess that our initial analysis of the clips was in fact correct and not a quote, cheap fake as Kareem Jean-Pierre suggested, huh? And so anyways, that's what has me thinking the way that I'm thinking, that Barack Obama and other top Democrats are obviously behind a plot here. Now, of course, the question is, will it work? Honestly, I'm not so sure. Nancy might have been right. Are there Democrats conspiring to remove Joe Biden from his post? Absolutely. But will it work? I don't know. Again, we got to think about Joe Biden's ego here. He's an extremely prideful man. And frankly, I just read him as one of those guys who would rather dig his heels in and watch the whole thing burn then take the humiliating L and be forced to have to resign in shame. I just can't see Joe Biden doing that. I think the more Obama and his goons, the more these celebrities, the more these Democrat elite continue to go after Joe Biden, I think honestly the more he's going to dig his heels in, the more he's going to say, oh yeah, well, you watch, corn pop, I've been doubted before, but now look at me, I'm the first black woman president. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on, especially in his old age and with all the cognitive issues. We've heard a lot about Joe Biden's ego, his pride, and his outbursts of anger, I think the calls for him to step down are probably pissing him off more than they're convincing him. You know, so many people seem so confident when they say that Joe Biden's not going to be the nominee. Come November, he's not going to be the Democrat on the ticket. People say that with such tremendous confidence, but at the end of the day, I don't think the effort to unseat him has reached the level yet necessary to actually force Joe Biden to make that decision. There's still a lot of people totally on board. Did you leave the door open just a little bit? for these continued questions about President Biden, because he said he made up his mind. And you're saying... And I took him at his word. 19th. I took him at his word, and that's why I am all in. I'm riding with Biden, no matter what direction he goes, no matter what method he takes, I'm with Joe Biden. And if he were to change his mind, I just answered the question, uh, that I would be uh, all in uh, for the vice president. We're still seeing pretty much every Democrat behind Joe. The reality is it's a loud fringe minority of the Democrat Party that frankly actually has the balls to say it to challenge the power structure. My view is that it seems unlikely. I think Joe Biden still has too many yes men, too many yes women in his corner of the ring feeding him all the mumbo jumbo he needs to think that this thing is still a contest. Personally, I think Joe's staying in, but if we want to entertain other possibilities, you know, it is possible that they stage a deep state coup and they end up tanking Biden. We're already kind of seeing it. I mean, $90 million frozen. It's possible they dry up his campaign coffers and put him in a position where he has no other choice. The question is, is that going to benefit Democrats? To see that level of dysfunction, that level of shadow power, are people really going to get in line in that situation? You know, it won't exactly be an inspiring ticket. Vote for this random D-list Democrat because they have a D next to their name and they're not Joe Biden, the other guy that we lied about for four years and then switched out at the last second. I simply can't see that working. There's something going on internally to torpedo the Biden campaign, but in conclusion, I don't think they're going to be able to get it done, and even if they do, well, I don't think it's going to work. In other words, the Democrats remain in a lose-lose situation, but it's funny to see them desperately cope and strategize behind the scenes. What crazy thing are the Democrats or the DNC going to do next? That's the question we're always asking. I guess maybe we might be up for a surprise. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. Hopefully, Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, friends, and I'll see you on the next one.